Hey everybody, welcome to CR Anti Designers. This is Chetan, and in this blender tutorial, we are going to make something amazing. So, without further ado, let's get started. To make the model, we need to add a cylinder. So, Shift A, add the cylinder. After that, we will go with the 16 words. Then just scale the cylinder along the z-axis in this way, and then take it on the floor. Then the next thing, you need to go to the edit mode, and here you need to create the right chord based topology. That's it. So just select the words, right click, connect vertex path and create that chord based topology. It's very simple. Then you can select everything, mesh and then symmetrize, take the symmetry along the z axis. After that you need to select this edge loop and then control B and then add a bevel on this edge loop. As like this, you can add one segment bevel at there, that's important. After that we need to deselect few faces at there. So that's why you need to turn on your x-ray mode and then deselect these faces with the cross selection and you will get this top faces only and then delete them. You will get these gaps at there. Now what you need to do? You need to do the simple thing. You need to select these edges with the shift select. After selecting these edges, you need to extrude these edges along the Z axis. In this way, you can turn on your X remover and you can take the help of it. After that, you need to select everything and then press M and merge by distance and merge the words together. That's it. Then you can select these edges and then press F to fill the gap. As like this, that's not difficult. Then just fill the center gap at there, that's easy. After that, what next? You need to add the support to look cuts, which is very important. You don't need to worry about the cylindrical form, just you need to add the loop cuts like this to maintain the good corners at there. So these are the support loop cuts and you need to add these loop cuts in this way. Just add the loop cuts, don't need to think about the design, don't need to think about the cylindrical form. We can manage it with the sucking design. So that's easy, just do it. After that, you need to turn on your extra mode and then select these faces, one half of the model or one third of the model and then delete the faces. And you will get only this part. Then just you need to add the sub-D modifier and mirror modifier on it. So add it and make sure your mirror modifier should be top of your sub-D modifier. So that's keep in mind and turn on that merging and clipping option in the mirror modifier. And now you will get this kind of form. Just add the loop cuts to the bottom side also and just start to get the form at the right form, right look. Then you can add the loop cuts like this and here you need to create the proper loop structure. So you can turn off that sub-D modifier and you can see I need to create the proper loop structure so that's why I can select these words and right click connect vertex path and dissolve the corner edges. Then you can give the right position to these words little bit. Yeah, you can use the move tool for that and you can give the right position to it. Then you can use the A slide for the words and just try to keep a decent looking loop structure at there. So we will get the smooth shading and smooth details. After that you can select everything and then mesh, symmetrize, take the symmetry along the z-axis also. Or you can create manually at the bottom side. Yeah, that's not difficult. And you will get this kind of form, just shade smooth it. And then turn on that sub-D modifier and increase it count up to 2. If you want more this kind of tutorials, then please give 100 likes to this video. Now you can see we are getting the harder edges at there on that cylinder. How should we manage these harder edges? It's very easy. Just need to play with your design little bit and you can easily manage those harder edges. You don't need to worry about them. You can add few loop cuts like this on the model. After that, you can create a loop structure at here if you want then. Otherwise, you can keep it as it is. So just select this words rightly, connect vertex path and then create that loop structure and then dissolve these edges. And now you can see it looks way better than the before. But if you want more harder edges at there, then you have to play with the form of the model. If you are okay with that smoother curve at there, then you can keep it as it is. It's totally fine. And if you want a little bit more harder edges at there, you can add the loop cuts like this. And now you can see the model looks like this, which is pretty well. So here I'm adding the loop cut. Why? because I want to create a different part at there. Here just I want to make a separation. My top part will be different and the bottom part will be. 
So that's why you can use the X-ray mode and then select this bottom faces and then you can press P for the selection to make a different object. Now you can see we got these two different parts here and we can keep the topology for it as like this. But before filling this gap, you need to apply the modifiers over here. So that's why just apply the mirror modifier and then you can select this edge and then press F to fill the gap and then you can use the insert operation at there. And same thing you need to do at the bottom side. You need to apply the mirror modifier. Then just you need to select this edge loop and then press F to fill the gap and then use the insert operation. Now you can dissolve the few edges at there. Don't dissolve the, all the edges. You will lose the form of the model. So that's why just dissolve the edges which creates those vertical harder edges at there. So just dissolve them and then keep the form as it is. Make sure the diameter of both cylinders should match to each other their sides and that's you need to keep in the mind. Then you can select these words and then merge them at the center and then you can dissolve the edges at there. And then you can take the symmetry along the X axis and Y axis. After that you can select that face and then use the loop tool circle option. And then just adjust the scale of it and then extrude it along the Z axis. Then use the insert operation and then merge the words at the center. Then use the insert operation at here also to make that harder edge. And you will get basically this kind of form. So this is our top part and that will be our bottom part. You can see here, just playing with the simple design, we are able to maintain the good form on the model as well as a good design. You should be able to find out this kind of solutions while modeling. If you are facing any difficulty, so don't need to stuck at anywhere. Just find out the different solution to solve it. And here I'm just refining these models and I'm trying to get a good looking form and good looking design at there. That's not difficult. Easily you can do this thing. Now you can see the model looks decent. And in this way, you can create this kind of design. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So bye-bye. See you in the next video. Take care.